Dirt mining or surface mining is a method of mining which involves the removal of overlying rocks and stones covering the material. The process is commonly used for mining coal or tar sands. Surface mining methods include area mining, contour mining, mountaintop removal, and auger mining. Area mining works exactly as it sounds. The workers strip away the surface rocks and earth known as the overburden in order to reach the coal. Then the dirt is hauled away from the mine using trucks, drag lines, or other, other heavy machinery. This method is typically used in areas with relatively flat terrain. Afterwards, additional trucks come to load the coal and transport them to coal plants. After extracting all the coal, the overburden is replaced back in its original position. Contour mining also works exactly as it sounds. Instead of digging straight strip of land just like that of the area mining, contour mining digs into the side of the hill to create a level area to extract the coal, essentially forming a wedge in the side of the hill. The overburden is removed in a similar manner and is replaced afterwards back into its original position. Mountaintop removal is essentially self-explanatory also. This technique combines both area and contour mining methods and is only used when several thick layers of coal lie near the mountain top. Parallel cuts are made into the mountain and the top gets carried off as overburden down into the adjacent valleys in order for workers to reach the coal. Auger mining is usually related to contour mining. This method only applies when contour mining no longer can reach the coal in the side of the mountain, thus requiring a drill or auger to remove all the coal out. Many detrimental ecological effects follow such methods of mining, including soil erosion and destruction of habitats around the mining area. The high amount of traffic around the mining areas due to the vehicles will cause a significant spike in carbon emissions and pollution will fill the area. Similarly, the excess overburden, called spoil, is often left behind by miners since it is not brought back to its original location. Mountaintop removal method further this consequence by completely leaving all the overburden in nearby valleys to create valley fills, converting the mountain landscapes covered in hardwood forest into fields of sparse grass. As a result, mountaintop removal completely alters the topography around the mining area. Thus, habitats may be seriously harmed or destroyed with the new landscape altering waterways and other natural ways of life. Even with strip mining's horrible consequences to the environment, there is an endless demand for coal, which provides many with financial opportunities that not many people would actually refuse. Mountaintop removal is prominent throughout the United States along the Appalachian Mountain chains in states such as Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. The physical lands damage to the landscape can be easily identified in the photos. However, since strip mining is relatively cheaper than conventional underground mining, many companies are still willing to perform such acts for profit. Also, strip mining is generally safer and more efficient than extraction from underground mines, thus making it seem like the most logical way to obtain coal for the United States. The Bush administration in 2007 supported this brilliant idea expanding mountaintop mining throughout the Appalachian Mountains, only needing companies to seek approval for their projects and to promise to minimize the amount of environmental damage they cause during the course of the project. Though many environmental groups have attempted to oppose such rules, even under the Clinton administration, none have successfully been able to halt the persevering mining companies. Another mining project in the United States is the infamous Keystone XL pipeline proposal, which transports oil from the Canadian tar sand tars to the Gulf of Mexico for shipping and transport. Though the independence from untrustworthy sources for oil in the Middle East seems all too appetizing for the United States, the environmental impacts resulting from the project create many against this plan. The extraction process involves strip mining and drilling that injects steam into the ground to melt tar-like crude oil from the sand and requires a massive amount of energy and water. 
Many potential dangers threaten this project, such as the possibility to contaminate the drinking water around the area. Such as the possibility to contaminate the drinking water around the area, since the steam is absorbed into the ground in order for workers to extract the oil. Similarly, a possible leak along the seemingly endless transcontinental pipeline will have detrimental effects upon the areas around it, such as the leaking water example. Even though the project will create numerous temporary jobs and permanent jobs with construction and maintenance for the pipeline throughout the United States and Canada, environmental and ethics groups provide heavy resistance knowing that such a project with this big of a magnitude can have a major impact on the world.